What's up, Serial Heads? Today we're going to talk about WWF Superstar Serial. This serial was released in 1991 when pro wrestling was extremely popular. Like a lot of boys my age, I was into wrestling in the late 80s and the early 90s. Then I kind of fell out of interest with it for a few years until The Rock and other superstars brought me back in the late 90s. And today it's been about 10 years or so since I really follow pro wrestling. This box I have is a salesman sample. Boxes they would send to grocery store managers to convince them to buy the cereal. It says here on the side of the box, 3 million kids 2 to 11 watch WWF on television each week. So in 1991, I was the prime demographic for this cereal. It claims to have a hit of vanilla. Also, you can see there are no tropical oils in this cereal. Around this time, tropical oils like coconut oil and palm oil were big no-nos due to saturated fats. Kids cereals were trying to convince parents that they were healthy, even though there's still a ridiculous amount of sugar in them. Some of these boxes contain chances to win tickets to WrestleMania 8, which pitted Hulk Hogan against Sid Justice and Ric Flair against Randy Savage. Sadly, this isn't one of those boxes. There are four different versions of this box. There's the one that I have here with Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan on it. Then there was one with just Hulk Hogan on it. And one with just the Ultimate Warrior. He recently died of a heart attack in April of 2014. And there's the last box which had my favorite tag team of all time on it. Uh, what a rush! The Road Warriors, Animal and Hawk. Better known as Legion of Doom. Animal and Hawk had a great career, but it was later tarnished, in my opinion, by a classless WWE storyline. See, Hawk was battling alcoholism and addiction in his real life, and they thought they should incorporate that into an on-screen storyline. He would show up to matches drunk, and it finally culminated in a stunt where the new LOD member, Draws, pushed an inebriated Hawk off the Jumbotron, killing him. Get a shirt! No! Oh, oh, what? God almighty! A couple months after that, Owen Hart would fall from the rafters and actually die. Then, a few months after that, Draws would be paralyzed by a botched move in the ring. And after battling addiction for years, Hawk would die of a heart attack in 2003. Okay, enough of the depressing pro wrestling stuff. Let's open this box of cereal. So here are the little stars. <clears throat> you definitely can't smell that hit of vanilla anymore. Here, take a look at what a bowl of this stuff looks like. I actually remember not loving this cereal as a kid because it got soggy pretty quickly and turned to mush. And normally at this point, I would try a bowl of this cereal, but just not worth it anymore so there you go wwf superstar cereal still looks good but not gonna find out how it tastes thanks for watching until next time stay crunchy oh yeah cereal time cereal time